In late 2006, then President Felipe Calderón expanded the militarization of the so-called war on drugs in Mexico, a context that facilitated the increase in criminal and state-sponsored violence. Mass killings, uh, forced disappearances, and countless massacres are some of the most revealing outcomes of the crisis of violence of the last 15 years. Now, much of this violence, uh, the dimensions of it, have gone beyond what we commonly understand as uh, uh, criminal or state abuses, and rather reach uh, and rather border on the limits of what other societies have experienced during genocide. How did Mexico descend into a context of genocidal violence? What is the role of the war on drugs in the unfolding of this violence? And how do state and criminal perpetrators uh, justify and engage in acts of extreme brutality? Drawing largely on my uh, research in, of the explosion of violence in central Mexico, uh, I find that it is through narratives that debase the humanity of the other uh, that uh, state and criminal perpetrators construct already stigmatized groups as threats, as traitors, as undesirable populations. Thus, the extreme violence that we see today in Mexico's war on drugs strongly relies on this construction and targeting of people deemed as killable. Now, there are some practical implications of studying Mexico from this perspective. We can, uh, for instance, go beyond drug enforcement policies and rather address the historical and structural conditions that facilitate violence against some groups. We can also think about protection mechanisms uh, for these groups that suffer this type of violence. And ultimately, perhaps, we can understand this as something more than just a violent crime and reassess the potential of transitional justice mechanisms to address this issue in the country. Thank you. <laughs>